Are you building a new gaming PC this year? Wondering what's good or what to buy? Well, I'm gonna be talking about the two most important things when building a gaming PC, the CPU and the GPU. Let's check it out. Hey, I'm Danny, welcome to DTC. If this is your first time here, frequently I talk about new PC hardware, um, I'll do how-to videos, and sometimes I build full computers as well. This year has taken the PC space by storm. Everything has ha come out, the GPUs have come out, CPUs have come out, availability is like non-existent of a lot of stuff, especially GPUs, but I'll talk about that in a little bit. So first let's get into consoles. I know everybody has been awaiting the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X release this year. I took a look at Tom's Guide. Uh, they have some pretty good like reporting, I guess you could say, for new content. And uh, the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X come out in November. The PlayStation 5's release date is November 12th. The Series X is going to be November 10th. Same week as each other, and uh, they've already sold pre-orders. Pre-orders sold out within minutes. Both consoles come with AMD CPUs and GPUs. AMD is really going to take the market by storm because they've got the whole trifecta of everything. They make their own CPUs, they make their own GPUs, and they put the, the products in the consoles now. So both the PlayStation and Xbox come with what's called Zen 2 CPUs. Uh, it's basically a Ryzen 7 3700X, if you want to be comparable to it, I guess. And the GPUs that come in these are based on the RDNA 2 architecture from AMD as well. As I said, the console availability is limited. Pre-orders already sold out. Well, I haven't seen any real like everybody talking about it and definitive evidence of it, but I think the console production is gonna cause availability for CPU and GPUs on the AMD side to be limited as well. AMD had a press conference on October 8th and talked about these Zen 3 CPUs they're about to come out with, the Ryzen 5000 series. They revealed four new processors in their product stack, uh, which is good because usually the product stacks for all these companies are just massive. I mean, there's so many processors now and so many GPUs, people get confused, and that's what I'm here for. AMD released the four new processor stacks, and they originally said it was gonna be three, but they kinda threw this extra tidbit of information in here. The Ryzen 5 5600X is gonna be coming, that's six cores and 12 threads, and boosts to 4.6 gigahertz. This processor comes in at 299 USD. Next up is the Ryzen 7 5800X. This is eight cores and 16 threads and boosts to 4.7 gigahertz for $449. After that is the Ryzen 9 5900X. That's 12 cores and 24 threads and boosts to 4.8 gigahertz. It comes in at 549. If you look at the, I guess, graph here that AMD has put out, this was displayed at their keynote speech for uh, the new Zen 3 CPUs. They're showing an increase over the 3900 XT, which is at their, it's their flagship processor right now. I think this is kind of a skewed graph. Um, they're showing the performance increase. So League of Legends, a 50% increase in performance. This is at 1080p high quality presets, so probably probably the max settings, versus the 5900X. So 3900XT versus 5900X. I mean, these games are all like pretty basic games. CSGO, PUBG, Dota 2, those games have been out forever. You can play these games on, on a potato, honestly. But anyways, I mean, they're showing Shadow of the Tomb Raider on here, Far Cry New Dawn. They got a 28% bump, a 22% bump. The way they got better gaming performance is because they increased the IPC. I think I saw during their, their keynote, it was like a 19 or 20% IPC improvement. Uh, that's great. The last processor that AMD released information on at their uh, keynote speech on October 8th was the Ryzen 9 5950X. That's the, the high-end processor, the top of the line that they sell. It's 16 cores, 32 threads, and boosts to 4.9 gigahertz. It comes in at a price of $799. At that point, when you're talking about $800 for a CPU, 
I mean, there's a very limited audience that that is marketed to. I would love to pick one up, but honestly, I just, <laughs> I can only get so many products to, to show you guys. If you're thinking about getting one of these chips, they are going to be releasing non-X variants uh, at the beginning of the year of 2021. They're saying that the, the Ryzen 5 5600 non-X variant is probably going to be around $220 USD. So that's more within AMD's ballpark because these prices, have, like I said, have all raised by $50 from what they used to be uh, their old counterparts. Like a, a Ryzen 5 3600X was uh, $250. And then, uh, I mean, they always go on sale and stuff like that though, which is where AMD excels over Intel. They put their prices um, very competitively. And then on top of that, they do discounts and stuff all the time or they offer a game with their processor. Something to note, if you have a B450 or X470 motherboard, you will not get support for Zen 3 until uh, 2021. They're saying the beginning of the year, they're gonna release a BIOS update for everyone that you can download from their websites, uh, from the motherboard manufacturer's websites and get uh, compatibility for Zen 3. So if you were planning on dropping this into your board, I had said in a previous video they were gonna support it I'm, I'm even glad they're supporting it, honestly, because they could just do what Intel does and be like, you have to buy the newest board, the B550 or the X570 boards. From what I've seen and all the rumors and everything, they're not releasing new motherboards or new chipsets. So B550 and X570 is the, the best boards you can get for um, the new processors. AMD released this in one of their keynote speeches. They said on the 8th of October, they're gonna release Zen 3. On the 28th of October, they're gonna be talking about our DNA too. We need this badly as far as uh, PC gamers are concerned. NVIDIA released all their graphics cards, uh, the 3080, the 3090, and availability is non-existent. I'm sure you are as frustrated as I am. I still cannot get a 3080. Like I said, the RX 6000 series is going to be good for us as far as consumers because it's going to give another avenue for graphics choices as opposed to NVIDIA. AMD is saying that they have processes in place that are going to uh, beat what NVIDIA has done for their releases. They're doing a bot detection and management type of thing. They're doing the CAPTCHA stuff where you have to like click on all the stop signs or the stop light, the challenge tests. That way it is going to beat the bots that have bought up all these NVIDIA graphics cards because a lot of it, I mean, all of it was bots. So AMD is doing things to try to alleviate this. They're going to be doing purchase limits. They're going to be doing reservations and stuff. I, I wish they would have done like pre-orders, but I guess that's not, that's not a thing. When these cards get released, the information gets released on them next week, NVIDIA decided that they're going to release the 3070. The RTX 3070 is scheduled for release on October 29th. That is the day after AMD releases all the information for the big Navi. I think that there, uh, this is just my opinion. I think there is going to be much more demand for the RTX 3070 than there was for the 3080 and the 3090, just because it is a much better price for performance. Nvidia has said that the 3070 performance is going to be on par with the 2080 Ti. So for $499 to get the same performance that a $1,000 to $1,200 graphics card got six months ago is amazing. The 3070 is going to be the card to get. I expect them to sell out just as quickly. All these other companies expect them to sell out just as quickly as they have done in the past for the 3080 and the 3090. I think Big Navi, uh, the 6900 XT and the 6800 XT are going to do the same thing. I think they're all going to sell out super quickly. So if you can get your hands on one, good for you. NVIDIA is saying stock is going to be better for the 3070. That's why they pushed it back so much by two weeks because they wanted to build up stock to be able to sell them to you, the consumer. I haven't seen 3080s or 3090s available at all since the release dates and stuff. So let's, let's wrap all this up, um, giving you a conclusion of all of this. <sighs> Intel is, is buried. I don't, I don't recommend Intel to any of my friends anymore. Anybody that asks me if they should be doing a build, and I, I really love Intel. I have it in all my systems. Right now, recommendation, AMD, all the way. Their boards are cheaper. They're more, well, 
They are more available now. A couple months ago, you couldn't get AMD boards. You could get the processors all day, but you couldn't get a X570 board. You couldn't get a B550 board. They were all sold out for like two months. Now they're available. If you're thinking about building an AMD system, I highly suggest picking the board up now. A B550 board, you can get them at reasonable prices and they still have PCI 4.0 for the storage and for that top uh, graphics card slot as well, which you can take advantage of for the new NVIDIA cards or new AMD cards, either one. But B550, best choice. Now, like I said, Zen 3 CPUs need a B550 or X570 from the get-go. If you have a B450 or X470 motherboard, you'll need to wait till January to be able to update that BIOS. They're not releasing it till the beginning of the year. RDNA 2, I think it's gonna disrupt NVIDIA's sales, but I don't think it's gonna put them out of business or anything like that. NVIDIA is going to sell out AMD. I predicted this, I think it's gonna be like 10 to one. I mean, if you look at the Steam hardware surveys, NVIDIA runs in everybody's system. So NVIDIA is going to continue to sell out. If you're looking for those cards, you're going to be in the same bandwagon I am, and you're just going to have to wait and hope that you can grab one, stag one, whatever. Well, I hope my ramble wasn't too uh, confusing or anything. I just wanted to let you know what CPUs you should be looking out for, what GPUs you should be looking out for, and what I'm looking for as well. There's a lot of good value out there. There's a lot of good products. I'm sure availability and stock is going to improve as the time goes on. Don't be afraid to pick up last generation stuff. You can pick things up. I picked up a Ryzen 9 3950X for $400 a couple months ago because everybody's trying to sell things for the newest and greatest coming up. That's a $700 processor. If you go on um, Newegg's website right now, you can pick up a 3950X for $700. A $300, I almost got 50% off of it. It didn't have a box or anything with it, but it was just amazing. Like you, there are deals out there to be had. So if you're looking to upgrade something, you can pick up someone's secondhand processor that was barely used because they're gonna be trying to jump on the newest and greatest. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit like down below and subscribe so you can check out the new content. I really appreciate everyone that subscribed so far. It means a lot. Like I just started this channel a couple months ago. Um, I haven't even hit six months yet. My goal is to hit 500 subscribers by the time I hit my six month mark, which is November 3rd, I think it is. Um, so let's hope that I hit that, I hit that number, but thanks for everyone that subscribed so far. Thanks for all the viewers that continue to come back. I really appreciate you stopping by and listening to my rants. Also, if you want to be informed of stuff when videos go up, when uh, I get new content that I'm working on, check me out on Twitter as well at Danny's Tech YT. As always, I'm Danny with Danny's Tech Channel and I'll see you in the next one.